Ladies and gents, a couple more from my stash championship collection box. Uh, these were from about two years ago, 20 bucks a piece at Walgreens. Got them at a discount sometimes. Sometimes I paid full price. Sometimes I paid a little more to get some off of eBay. Only got nine left after these. And there's just uh, whatever's on eBay for these. They just ain't worth it anymore. Too expensive. 2022 Series 1 sucks. And there's a lot of that stuff in here. Um, I got some new light. Not new lighting. I readjusted my lighting. I, uh moved the lights I used farther away from the table and I had one that was right above me that I turned off I'm hoping to not get the glare when you move the car around the card around I was watching if sports cards today and he kind of redid re re his setup but every time they turn the cards upward just a little bit man it's a really bright shine and I've seen that in my videos before, too. You know, like, sometimes it's hard to read the name. And you tilt the card so I can read the name. But then when I tilt the card, there's a massive shine on the card. So, anyways, I moved the lights farther away, which actually is making it feel a little darker to me. Um, but let's see how it works out. I don't know. At least on, on the screen, it looks lighter. I know the iPhone has a way of kind of adjusting itself. So in these championship collection boxes, you always get some 2022 Series 1. Two fatties and two thinnies. And these are typical type of packs in here. 21 Update, 21 Ginter, and the Stadium Club 21, which I like. Because their ceiling is a little higher with these. There's, and my favorite, the Black Boxes of Wonder. So, alright. Start with the Allen and Ginter. Guys will have to let me know if you have any strong opinion one way or the other on my different lighting. I gotta tilt this down a little bit. And uh, so yeah, if I tilt that, well, these are Ginter cards, so it's not a good example. But there's Rendon, Jack Flaherty, Lee, that is Derek Lee. We got a Chapman, which is probably Matt Chapman, huh? Yeah, Matt Chapman, Alan and Ginter back. We got Deep Sea Shiver. It's the Hammerhead Shark. Eating some plankton. No, whales eat plankton. Sharks eat other fish. And sharks. Tatis Jr. All right, that's your Ginter. Here's your 2021 update. Here's a good example of... Uh, no, these aren't foil names. They're just tiny names. Um, got Cabrian Hayes, rookie debut. Jordan Luplo. So tilt that around. Not seeing any major glare. This might work out good. As long as it's bright enough. Khalil Lee. Adam Duvall. Andres Jimenez, rookie card. I like that one. A couple years ago, he had a really good year. Uh, Christian Posh, he's a solid player. Christian Posh, rookie card debut. Frankie Mota Mo Montas. Pat, whatever. Josh Bell. There's an Akil Badu rookie card insert. Uh, I'll be okay covering him, but that's a, that's an okay one to put up there. And we'll put Joe Adele up there too, rookie card in 1992 insert. But those are coverable cards. They're good placeholders for the moment. Peter Solomon. All right, Stadium Club. Get off of me. That was a little piece of the wrapper. It was stuck to my hand. Uh, Kyle Tucker. There, I had to go that far to get the, get the glare. Trevor Story, virtual reality. Mike Moustakis. And uh, that's Dalt Varsho. Um, rookie card. Jesus Aguilar. All base. Usually you get like something like a red foil or black foil. Well, I suppose this Trevor Story insert was was uh, the non-base. All right.
Andy Young. Rookie. Josh Bell. Uh, who is this? Tanner Houck. Rookie card. There's a Nolan Arenado. How about that's a parallel? Yeah, we got a sepia. Orange sepia parallel for Nolan Arenado. Kind of like that. Chris Paddock is with my ten twins. Evan, he has not impressed me so far. He got knocked around yesterday. I haven't seen the box score yet, but uh, Pablo Lopez had another good outing today, but we lost it in the late in the game. So we're going to skip base on this 2022 Series 1. None of us want to see a Wander Franco rookie card. It might make us puke. Reed Detmers. And we got Cesar Hernandez, Rainbow Foil. And a little Chris Bryant stars of the MLB. Stars of the MLB. Um, what was my last? Uh, uh, I don't know why I was breaking 2022 Series 1. Oh, no, that was 2022 Series 2. My 2022 Series 2 Fat Pack break, if you haven't seen that yet, I got a Stars of the MLB that was really nice. It made me like Stars of the MLB cards for the moment. You got to go watch that. Andrew Miller, Anthony Rizzo. We got 2021's Greatest Hits, Jose Altuve. And now we got our Fat Packs. It's got a little better chance of getting a nice parallel or a nice insert here or jersey card but you know i've opened a lot of these fat packs 2022 series one and it's so true these things were printed to the moon compared to the 2022 series two i mean i've watched a lot of these clearance fat packs of 2022 series two and the parallels and the hits just come flying out compared to these things these things are just so dud i mean once in a while i get something but it's few and far between. Kirilov, Hira. Welcome to the show, Miguel Cabrera. Florida Marlins, Tatis, Mike Trout, Jose Altuve, Matt, Soler, Jan Gomes, Corey Seager, Ian Happ, blah, blah, blah. Well, nothing too great yet. Not much stand worthy here so far. We always got our black boxes of wonder. Adam Frazier on the front, skips some base. We got Miguel Sano, who, you know, finally decides to lose a bunch of weight. And at least earlier in the year, he was playing well for, uh, God, who did he end up signing with? Was it the Angels or the Dodgers or something? Uh, Matt Veerling, rookie card. What do we got here? Welcome to the show, Buster Posey. Wah, wah. Man, nothing in these two fat packs and the inserts. Yeah. All right, it's up to our black boxes to make this break, hopefully, worth posting at least. I post all the bad ones, too, uh, as far as my breaks go. I had one over the weekend. I, like, I literally said, not great in the title because uh, I, I didn't even want to post it. But it's still got a couple hundred views or something. I don't know. Uh, Marcus Simeon. This is a uh, 2016 Heritage from the flagship low number set, so to speak. Jorge Soler, that's a Series 1 from 2016. John Danks, Neil Walker, Jan Gomes, Chris Davis. Now we're back to some uh, Heritage. We got uh, Mike Moustakis there. Michael Kadair. I, had, I know, I remember we got rid of him, but I didn't remember him being with the Mets. Uh, the Rays. These feel thick. Slade Heathcott. Okay, well, who we got here? Trace Thompson and Frankie Motas. Rookie card. And we're back to some Topps flagship. Series 1. We got Trout on there. Nick Hundley. And Poppy and the Prince. Prince Fielder and... No. The Prince is Albert Pujols in this particular scenario, right? Yeah, that's Pujols and Big Poppy. There's my Minnesota Twins. Kenny Vargas there, it looks like. 
coming in for a home run. Here's a Yadier Molina insert. At least I assume it's an insert. Yeah, Burger's best. That's a, it's a reprint of his rookie card. Here's a gold card of Aaron Nola rookie card. That's actually pretty darn good, actually. He's uh, he's had some good years. Um, some of these first pitch cards can be uh, worth something. I'm not sure this one is. Haley Atwell. Uh, who is she again? Yeah, Haley was born in London, spent much of her loose, and kind of some special thrill for the Marvel Cinematic Universe actress to throw out the first pitch at Kauffman Stadium. Well, people like her uh, attractive women on uh, sports cards, so maybe that's a good one. Um, Addison Russell. I'm going a little slow here, folks. Sorry about that. Jake Marisnik. Denard Spann. Back to Heritage. Um, I've talked about it almost every time about these black boxes. They left inserts and parallels in. And they just It's like they just opened packs and shoved them in there, which is great for us. Uh, there's certainly repacks where they've obviously sorted out any good possible card, like those $5 pharmacy boxes. I can't believe how well they sort those things, stars out and stuff out of those. I mean, there's rarely anything. Mark Melanson... Rubby De La Rosa, Steven Piscotti, and let's see, look at here. We got Jason Kipnis. He was a good player for many years. That's a Chrome out of 9.99. And we got a Rusny Castillo, Madison Bumgarner. Hey, there's big sexy Bartolo Colon. Oh, I'm sure there's got to be a high number over 400 in there somewhere, but in all these, uh, but I'm not going to look because that's boring and they're not worth that much. Unless it's a star, that might be helped a little. All right, last black box of wonder. Yeah, we got some decent stand worthy cards there that I'm not ashamed to put up there. Uh, I like that hair, Aaron Nola gold. I mean, it might only be a four or five dollar card or something, but there's a Tyler Molle rookie card. We traded for him and got nothing out of him. Lonnie Chisholm, Smarjaja, Robbie Ray. This is 2018. What series? Series one. How about a nice Raphael Devers parallel or something? Or even just a base rookie. Lance Lynn, Jordan Zimmerman, Chris Archer, James McCann, Kevin Kiermeyer, Nate Jones, Chad Cool, Cool, Hunter Pence, Jason Kipnis again, Jonathan VR. Andrelaton Simmons. There's a Giancarlo Stanton base card. Nice one. Rick Porcello. Marcus Simeon. What do we got here? That's rainbow foil. It's an Oriole. Who we got? Chris Tillman. He was all right. And we got some Gypsy Queen here. Uh, D. Gordon. Ryan Healy. Jan Gomes. Brandon Woodruff. Carlos Carrasco. Nice little Mike Trout card there. There's this 2020, uh, 2020, uh, 2019 Heritage. And a slow number. Can't beat that price. Chris Sale, Brent Suter, and Leonis Martin. All right. Uh, nothing to say huge hit in the title or anything, but I got some fun stuff here. Jason Kipnis Chrome. Haley Atwell, first pitch card. Uh, Aaron Nola, gold rookie card. I wonder what he's serial numbered out of. I mean, I know it's 2016, 673. And these guys never got covered up. Joe Adele, rookie card. Akil Badu, rookie card. We got a uh, Nolan Arenado, uh, Sepia, out of uh, Stadium Club. And we got some other decent stuff. And I feel like my lighting worked out. Sorry about the 14-minute video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you made it this far, subscribe. Thumbs up, comment. Thanks, guys and girls. Bye.